Welcome to the vlog guys. I have been out this morning and just taken Nico for a walk. Excuse the noise in the background. It's been so frustrating. They're putting up a new building somewhere here and that noise goes on all the time now. They even tried doing it through the night. It was horrendous. I was like, how do they think that's okay? Because when you go close to it, when I go for a walk, it's so loud. So I'm like, how do you not realize that this is literally waking up every person in this area? But anyway, we'll just have to ignore it. So I've been for a morning walk, Nico. I just put myself some breakfast. I've got my kefir, which is here. I just have a little bit of it. It's like a big bottle and, you know, I just put a little bit of it. <laughs> so I've been for my morning walk with Nico and just got back and put some breakfast in. Got my kefir, which I have every morning. So I'm just going to have that. And then I have my yogurt. So I've got my raspberry yogurt with fuel granola. And I think it is like day, maybe day four or five of the cut. Oh no, hold on, it's Saturday. It's day six of the cut. So I've been on the cut for six days now and it's been like pretty difficult because obviously my calories are so much lower than the last three months. It's taking a bit of getting used to, I'm not gonna lie, because I've had like three months of just eating well, not whatever, I have kind of like been good, but you know, I haven't gone crazy. I think near the end of that surplus, I was going a little bit crazy. I was like, I'm not to just eat a burger. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I was like. Cause I just could not figure out what to eat, which is healthy, which was high calorie. It was just so difficult. And on top of that, because obviously we run our own business, we don't really have the time to cook that much. We used to a lot, but honestly, we. We, I, I just don't have the time to cook as much as I would like to because it's not just about, you know, just going in the kitchen and cooking. It's about going out, buying what you need, coming back, preparing everything, cooking, and then cleaning everything. So honestly, I'm in awe of the people who manage to do that, but I just get tired. <laughs> I honestly do. So I need my evenings to just kind of relax a little bit. So that's why I think I was kind of like just eating whatever. I just didn't know what to eat, which was healthy, which was high calorie. But on this cut, my PT put us on this whole nutrition kitchen plan thing where they send us two meals a day, Monday to Friday, and on weekends we eat our own food. And it's been a game changer. So I think on the next surplus, because he has to probably put me on another two cuts, I think I'm going to probably stick to the meal plans and then obviously I'll just have extra calories, which just won't be as hard, you know. That's the situation. So Bobby's gone away for the weekend. He's on the border of Saudi and he's gone with some of his cycling friends to go and just ride through the dunes. How amazing does that sound, right? And he sent me some pictures and it looks absolutely amazing there. So I'm really hoping he has an amazing time. I He was actually gonna go this morning and then I convinced him to go last night because I was like, you're gonna get up super early, drive for three hours there and then get on the bike. Like just go the day before, go the night before, have a good night's sleep and then get up. And I'm really hoping that actually was worth it for him, but yeah i'm missing him for sure so it's basically me and nico for the weekend and had my long walk i think i'm going to go for another walk because i need to get my steps in because i didn't actually get enough steps in yesterday so i'm already on 5,000, which is amazing and it's 10 45 a.m so i'm pretty happy about that i think i'm gonna probably have my breakfast and then head out while it's still a little bit cool i don't really want to head out much closer to kind of 12 midday and then probably just go do a bit of a grocery shop and have a coffee and just relax and then head back and just do a bit of work for the day so that's my day guys we'll see god i've left my granola in too long and now it's just soft guys so I've actually done my shopping I did actually stop for a coffee and um, yeah there was just loads of flies everywhere for some reason it was really weird um, so I just had it quick went and got a few things I usually pick up strawberries and I thought you know what why not let's do something different so I picked up some blueberries instead I'm on around like 8,700 steps I need to get at least I'd say 15,000 today just to make up for yesterday it is really hot it's so hot 
I've really enjoyed my morning though. Like, you know, like going out with Nico for a long walk and then coming out here, just chilling, listening to my music. It's like the perfect, perfect Saturday morning. Although I do miss Bobby. He's like enjoying himself, himself, himself along the dunes. So yeah, I'm excited to see him tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna head back now and just kind of like do a bit of work, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll have a chat. finally got my 12,000 steps in. So I, I came back home, well, I kind of got down the road and then I thought, you know what, let me just go around the block once more because if I can get these 12,000 out of the way, then that means anything extra I do just makes up for yesterday's lack of steps. So yeah, I'm doing all right, but I'm very tired. And I did plan to be super productive today, which I think I have, because I've been out for a walk and everything, right? I've been out all morning. So, I mean, that's not really being productive. It's just kind of going out, but I mean, you know, I've done something I plan to do, so it's kind of productive. I did plan to do some work during the day, I'm so tired. Honestly, I just feel like just actually chilling. I mean, it is a Saturday, so why not? I don't often get a chance to do that. So I might actually just do a bit of work and then just relax. I've been watching Buying Beverly Hills and it's quite good, actually. I watched the first season and I was like, I'm not sure about it. And then I started getting into it and now I actually quite like it. And the girls are nice. There's not like, you know, insane amount of bitchiness going on, you know? It's not like Selling Sunset where people are just doesn't seem to be like mean girl behavior, which I like. I am so tired now. Nico's literally just laying here looking at me and I feel like he wants to play. <laughs> I'm like, so tired. Nico, let's play in a minute, yeah? You wanna play? Okay, he's not really reacting, so maybe he just wants to chill as well. Maybe he's like, what kind of crazy walk was that that you took me on this morning? I'm just gonna kind of like, not edit because that's just like intense working you just don't know where the time goes i think i'm just gonna like get everything ready to edit and probably edit tomorrow just like you know put it all in order and everything i'm so glad i had my hair cut short again it just doesn't last it lasts for about a week and then it's like long again so i just feel like i need a weekly cut which i cannot be bothered for but you know the hair is still dark it's just a, it's a it's very gradually lightening up but it's not ashy so yeah it's kind of making me feel a little bit crap about myself to be honest like I just don't like how I look at the moment do you guys ever get that like I it sounds really weird like the other day I was just looking because obviously you know with what I do you end up looking at yourself a lot because you're editing videos of yourself for YouTube or you know Instagram and everything and I was just like I'm just so fed up of my face <laughs> like so fed up of my face and honestly I feel like the hair doesn't help because you know, I waited so long to get it kind of like lighter back to how I was. It's not, okay, the reason I waited so long is because I just wanted to like, you know, prevent damage and I wanted to like get it in a healthy condition, which I did do. And I was so proud of myself. And then obviously when I did get it colored, it wasn't the right shade. And, you know, equally, I know it doesn't get to that shade in one appointment, right? It takes, it's gradual. But I also have been doing my hair, like hair color 15 years, so like, I know when it's the right shade on appointment one. So I know that it's not right because there's a lot of warmth in it at the moment and that isn't a good sign. So it's just made me feel really crap because I really did go the distance when it comes to like not dyeing it for so long and just doing the odd kind of like scatter of highlights here and there. And then to go in and I'm just honestly really upset about my hair <laughs> so it's, it may sound silly and yeah it looks fine right now because I honestly have been looking after it like every day putting oil in it like in the scalp and like rubbing it and really kind of like looking nourishing the hair and I'm really I'm on the k18 and everything and I had the treatment done at the salon yesterday so they really kind of helped to smooth my cuticles and everything which was really good so I'm gonna have to go in for a few of those treatments before I can actually get it done again but yeah I've I just really don't like it and I feel, I don't know, I, I'm just not feeling myself at the moment at all. Yeah, I think it's kind of normal it happens. Do you know what I mean? Like I think people go through these just phases of 
not liking themselves. I don't know, it's weird. I don't often have that, only because I don't really let that kind of stuff get to me, but I think because I know I put the effort in for so long, and then now I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just trying not to think about it so much. In order to not think about it, I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but I think I'm gonna open a few packages in a, in a bit once I've kind of like done a little bit of kind of like sorting my timeline for my editing for, for the vlog. I'm gonna probably open a few packages just to get them out of the way and then I'm gonna sit and chill. I'm trying to convince my husband to do a podcast with me. What are your thoughts on that? Because I actually think it would be really good and I'd probably add it onto this channel, but I think like, you know, a podcast once a week or once every two weeks would be really good. I just think me and him are always talking about stuff. We're always like, you know, discussing things and just talking about different things, about life in general, about marriage, about relationships, about family. And I get so many questions about both of us, like how we manage to actually still love each other, like each other, while we are still working with each other. And it's difficult. So I'm thinking like, maybe I'll do a podcast with him. I'm waiting for his decision because I did ask him and he said, let me have a think about it. So I'm like, oh, it's just a hope he does want to do it, you know? I just think it will be really interesting. And I feel like, because of the number of questions that I get about our relationship and how we manage to work, I just feel like it's maybe going to be of interest to a lot of people. But, you know, let me know your thoughts on that, what you think. I think it will probably take him a little while to get used to it because the first few, if we were to do it, podcasts, I feel like on camera he'd probably be a little bit kind of like nervous, but... I think over time he'll get used to it and he'll just like fully relax and be himself. He just tends to kind of freeze up a little bit in front of the camera. And that's kind of natural because if I look back at some of my videos, <laughs> I was just like this. I was just like, and now I'm gonna do this. And it was just so stiff. So it's kind of normal, but you know, it takes time and then you just relax a little bit. Well, that walk has really taken it out of me, guys. I'm very tired, so let me get on with some work and then I'm um, gonna see what I can fit in for the day. I think I'm just gonna maybe like have a bit of a self-care afternoon. That would be nice. So I've done what I needed to do. I am honestly not sure why I decided to do all this today. I'm so tired now. But anyway, I've got a few things I just wanna open up because I wanna get rid of the packaging. I got something from Asteri, which is a brand from, from what I remember, it's from Saudi. And it's actually a really good brand. Yes, Asteri Beauty. So they've sent this really cute little kind of, it's like a tin, maybe it's for Ramadan. And it's got, I don't know what it's got in here. So it's got a lipstick, lip gloss, and lip liner. I really like it when people pack their like stuff up like this. It's so, it, there's something about unwrapping makeup or anything to be honest that just feels good. It's like that sound is everything. These tins are pretty handy as well. So we've got a couple of boxes. There's two boxes of that. So um, I'm not too sure what the other one is, but you know, I'm gonna open the other one. Honestly, I just want to like sit down and binge watch TV, something. I don't know what. I might actually find a movie and put, put something on. Oh my God, why is this so difficult just to open? Okay, so this must be their like, so this is their blush. These are cute little pouches. Ooh. We've got some lashes. These are quite nice, actually. I would wear those. And then assuming this is the blush. Yeah. So I'm gonna open this all up like properly another time. So let's see what's in here. This is Bobby Brown. I haven't received anything from Bobby Brown in a long time. This looks nice. Oh, look at that palette, look. Oh, I love it. I could just keep doing that all day long. I love that. That's such a cool idea. And what's inside is this. So this is their Lux Eye and Cheek Palette. That is really nice. And I bet that highlighter is nice. Oh, I love this palette. Oh, I love it. Such a simple thing that has 
made me super excited. Okay, what's this? We've got a highlighting powder. We've got Luxe eyeshadow. Their Luxe eyeshadows are really good because I have used their Luxe eyeshadows in my kit for clients for years. I just want to show you these two. These are really pretty colors. So pretty. And then we've got a lipstick, which is the Toasted Honey. <gasps> Ooh, that is nice. And then some kind of eye pencils, metallic eye pencils. That's a really pretty gift. And I love the whole like pastel colored thing going on. Okay, that's kind of like mainly the stuff that I wanted to open. Honestly, I'm kind of done. I am just gonna literally sit in front of the TV now and just relax because then I've got to take Nico for a walk at six or between like 5.30 and six. So that's gonna be more steps. I'm not gonna go for a super long walk because I gave him a long walk this morning. So just a quick one for him to do his business and then come back and chill for the evening. I think I'm gonna do my whole self-care thing this evening, you know, cause then I can actually relax knowing that I'm not gonna go back out. I am honestly so done for the day, so done for the day. Like, you know, I just feel like I don't stop sometimes. Knowing that like Bobby's away as well, I know he always says to me, make sure you chill out, make sure you relax. But I kind of sometimes try and utilize that time to kind of like get stuff done that maybe I need quiet time for. So it kind of like just backfires because then I don't end up having that chill time. And then when he's back, he's like, oh, you must have had really cool like chill time. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, no, I didn't. Because I just carried on doing stuff like today. Like it's 2.15 now. I still haven't eaten lunch. I need to eat lunch. Mm -hmm.